Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. Gun control takes center stage at the state capitol today. Several bills are up for consideration. Here's Mike Puccinelli with that story. Next to a sign emblazoned with the faces of murdered young people, Antoinette Marshbanks boards the bus determined to bring her message to lawmakers. And we've been crying out for gun safety for years. And I think this time the message has been understood. And she may be right. The full House could vote today on a package of measures that would regulate gun dealers and ban the sale of bump stocks, some extended clips, and body armor. The minimum age to buy a military-style assault rifle would be raised to 21, and new rules would aim to keep guns out of the hands of the mentally ill. It won't bring Brenda Mitchell's murdered son back, but she was boarding the bus in his name. As long as we're standing up, then our children are still speaking. Father Michael Flager says he's been speaking to the students in Parkland, Florida, who he says are united with Chicagoans in calling for gun reforms. This is young people rising up across America to say enough. The adults have failed. The kids now got to stand up and say we're taking the lead. It's important because most young people are inspired by other young people, so when they see other young people doing it, they want to do it too. Police in Chicago's Washington Heights neighborhood are asking for your help finding a man they say attacked a young woman. Investigators say last Thursday the man in this photo forced the 18-year-old from a bus stop near 95th and Halstead to a secluded area where he sexually assaulted her and took her money. At the time, he was wearing a black fleece jacket, gray jogging pants, and a black and red baseball cap. And finally, here's meteorologist Megan Glaros with your forecast. Hey there, everybody. We're looking at temperatures today in the 50s. We'll see some scattered showers and a decent amount of sun and clouds. Still a pretty nice day, but moving into Thursday. Here we've got rain, possibly heavy at times, and mixing in with some snow. Now, especially up to the north, by the time the system is wrapping up and the cold air is coming in, maybe enough snow that it could stick in spots farther north out of the city. We're going to have to keep an eye on the sky to that one. We're right on that rain snow line, and we have to see how much snow falls, how vigorously, and whether or not the ground is warm enough to just melt it right on contact. So it's going to be an interesting setup coming into the day tomorrow. Either way, you need to know that rain could possibly be heavy at times tomorrow, and that's probably through the entire morning commute, stopping sometime around, time around 4 or 5. So it's going to be a bit of an interesting one, but temperatures tomorrow still in the 40s for highs, and that'll be the case through the 7-day.